Ross Hillman here with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional TGIM, Today God is First. Today's message is entitled, Seeing the Works of God. Proverbs 107.23 says, Others went on the sea in ships. They were merchants on the mighty waters. They saw the works of the Lord. When you were a child, perhaps you may have gone to the ocean for a vacation. I recall wading out until the waves began crashing on my knees. As long as I could stand firm, the waves were of no concern to me. However, as I moved farther and farther into the ocean, I had less control over my ability to stand. Sometimes the current was so strong, it moved me down the beach, and I even lost my bearings at times. But I have never gone so far into the ocean that I was not able to control the situation. Sometimes God takes us into such deep waters that we lose control of the situation, and we have no choice but to fully trust in his care for us. This is doing business in great waters. It is in these great waters that we see the works of God. The scriptures tell us that the disciples testified of what they saw and heard. It was the power behind the gospel, not the words themselves, which changed the world. The power wasn't seen until circumstances got to the point that there were no alternatives but God. Sometimes God takes us into the deep waters of life for an extended time. Joseph was taken into deep waters of adversity for 17 years, rejection by his brothers, enslavement to Pharaoh, and imprisonment were the deep waters for Joseph. During those deep waters, he experienced dreams, a special anointing of his gifts to administrate, and great wisdom beyond his years. The deep water was preparation for a task that was so great he never could have imagined it. He was to see God's works more clearly than anyone in his generation. God had too much at stake for a 30-year-old to mess it up, so God took Joseph through the deep waters of preparation to ensure that he would survive what he was about to face. Pride normally engulfs such young servants who have such access to power at such a young age. If God chooses to take us into deep waters, it is for a reason. The greater the calling, the deeper the water. Trust in his knowledge that your deep waters are preparation to see the works of God in your life. I'll never forget when a seasoned believer who was walking with me back in the 90s during my time of great adversity came to me one day and said, God must love you a lot. And I said, what do you mean? He says, well, the level of adversity you're going through, he doesn't waste that. He must have big plans for your life. And he did. And he's been able to take me to 26 countries and minister to men and women all over the world. But it began with a major crisis. And so often God ushers us in to the larger story through a major crisis. Perhaps God is using your circumstance to prepare you for a larger story than what you're currently living. So often the depth and width of our adversity is commensurate with the call. So I want to pray for you today that God will use this time to prepare you for whatever he has in store for you. So, Father, we thank you that all things work together for good for those called according to your purpose. And we know that you use events to prepare us for our larger story. Give us the grace to walk in that this day in Jesus name. Amen. If you've not read my book, Upside of Adversity, From the Pit to Greatness, it might be an encouragement to you. It chronicles my seven years of adversity and what I learned from that and how he took me from major crisis into a calling that would reach 26 countries and uh, write, start the daily devotional. And I would end up writing 18 books. So I hope this, uh, this will encourage you in your own faith walk. God bless. Why do bad things happen to good people? Am I being punished by God? Does God simply not love me? If you struggle to answer those questions, Oss Hellman has a resource to help you. It's called Adversity FAQ. Over the years, Oss has received questions on these issues and has documented his answers in a free, downloadable free resource called Adversity FAQ. Find out the answers by visiting our website at adversityfaq.com. That's adversityfaq.com. 